Hi, I'm Kristen Arnett, an international makeup artist and healthy beauty expert. I'm here with my model, Binette, who is a woman over 50 and who still has small children. I do. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to do this five minute makeup that you see on her. Very easy, polished, get out the door fast, you know, dealing with the kids and the work and the whole thing. And I'm going to show you step by step from this before photo, how we get to this after. And all the products you're going to see are from Navigo, an online retailer that is community focused, featuring unique indie brands that have a sustainable mission. So they're making products that are safe for you, safe for the planet and ethically created. Now let's rewind and we're going to take Bennett back to when she had no makeup on and walk you step by step on how to get this particular five minute makeup look. Let's get started hydrating your skin with the Renew and Repair Face Oil from Olive and M. What's awesome about this is that it's completely natural and the olive oil acts like your skin's natural sebum. So it's gonna hydrate, it's great no matter what your skin type is, different times of the year, different climates, and it's not gonna feel heavy or greasy. Okay, feel your skin. Wow, that feels really light. Right? Yeah. Now we're going to put on the Olive and M Eye Serum, which is nourishing and energizing. It's got antioxidants, omegas, and that all helps with hydration. And it's going to improve the look of fine lines around the eyes. So, Bennett, yeah. when you put your eye serum on, use your ring finger and just very lightly tap. Okay. Try that. A little light tapping. You feel that pressure? Yes. That helps stimulate the skin and it doesn't put too much drag on the delicate eye area. So now once you've had a chance to let your face oil and eye serum soak into the skin just a little bit, then you wanna go with a product that's gonna help even out the skin tone. So I'm gonna use this one from Skin Veda. It's based on Ayurvedic medicine. Have you heard of Ayurveda? I haven't. Okay, so it's just, it's an ancient form of beauty and well-being care and this particular brand uses that to mix skincare with makeup. Wow. So you do want to blend this in all over your skin because it's got an SPF 50 in it, which is pretty awesome. So it's going to protect your skin from any more sun damage and it's going to really help even out your skin tone, including any age spots that you might have already gotten. So what you might notice at first is when you put it on, there's a little bit of a white cast, but this has a color matching technology that really helps it move more towards your natural skin tone as you blend it in and as it oxidizes. Oxidation is something that often happens with mineral makeup and this is no exception. One place that people really forget about doing is the upper lip. And a lot of times you'll get hyperpigmentation on the upper lip, which just means that it has a darker look. It's giving you the effect of a mustache, yes. which you really don't right, need have. or probably want. Or <laughs> so make sure that you're really putting your tinted moisturizer with SPF on the upper lip area as well. One of the biggest things that you can do to make a difference quickly is just erase under your eye with a little bit of a color correcting concealer. Now this one is from Mayer Naturals and what it has in it is a little bit of a pink tone and that pink tone is gonna help just take away some of that discoloration that happens from Oh, I don't know, lack of sleep. <laughs> so it helps with under eye circles? Yes, absolutely. And I would put this on after your tinted moisturizer, but before we finish off with the mineral powder foundation. What I really like about Mayor Naturals is that it is organic, gluten-free, and cruelty-free. This is all natural formula, and it's very hydrating and nourishing under the eye. Using the same synthetic cruelty-free brush from Dome Beauty, I'm going to spot apply the Gia Minerals foundation as a concealer to your face before we do an all over powder. So you had this little pimple today that you emailed me about before our shoot, like, why? Why does the pimple have to show up before the shoot? And that's just totally natural. I mean, this is what occurs. And we just covered it up in literally like two blots of a little bit of the Gia Minerals powder with this brush. Okay, take a look at that. Gosh, it's amazing. It literally disappeared. Yeah, it did. And it didn't take much. So this is definitely about quick makeup. Now, is it perfect? No, no. you can still see that there's a little bit of a raised bump from the pimple, mm -hmm. but it's definitely better than it was. And that's what you're looking for is like, just get it and go. <laughs> Fast work. So same thing under the eyes, just hit it with a little bit of foundation and a little brush like this, and it'll just be a lot easier to apply. 
I like to put a little bit of the foundation in the lid and then work the bristles into the lid so it disperses really evenly. Now this is a mineral powder foundation and what I love about this one, love, is that it is made with as many organic ingredients as possible. It's small batch. It's really thoughtfully created. There's even antioxidants in the oils that they've chosen to use and you might be thinking, like, what's an oil doing in a mineral powder product? They actually do really help bind the minerals together because those are inorganic ingredients and then they add much needed hydration to the skin. And because this is a mineral powder foundation, you're getting another SPF 20 on top of everything we just put on. Is there such thing as too much SPF? I mean, I don't think there's thing, so much thing as too much SPF. There is a point with which it's just not really much more effective, but during the day you do want to retouch every three hours basically. So if you're using a mineral powder like this, then you can retouch just by putting it straight on top of your makeup and it's a nice refresh for your face, but it's also giving you the sun protection you need. And you'll notice that I'm using a downward motion. It's really not necessary like most people think to swirl the brush in circles. And why do you use a downward motion? Well, to be perfectly honest, um, a lot of us have a bit of peach fuzz on our faces. Mm -hmm. And so when powder attaches to the little hairs on the face, if you're going up, it can look a little fuzzier. So you just kind of want to move it down. But I also do move in other directions. This is how you get this part done quick. You make the funny face, you close your eyes, and you just go for it. But try not to squinch your eyes or you're going to end up with powder marks on your eyelids. And you just want to finish with a little bit back and forth on the forehead. So go this way and then this way. Down the nose. You can even do a little bit under the eyes, top of cheekbones. And if you feel like it, you can extend your foundation to your earlobes and just a bit down the neck. Okay, we're just about done with your foundation and I want you to take a look at your skin. Oh, I didn't expect that. I thought using mineral powder would make my face look so much more matte. Yeah, and you have this beautiful luminosity to the skin, and that's really because we prepped it with very hydrating, nourishing products. So from the face oil to the tinted moisturizer and even this mineral foundation, we're allowing that natural glow to really come through instead of creating just a flat surface. I like to take some of the foundation and pull it down the neck like this because quite a few people's faces are very different colors than their neck. And so when you extend the color this way, it just creates more harmony. With the rest of your five minutes remaining, I want you to swipe on a little bit of lid color. This one is from Naked Truth Beauty. And all you're gonna do is take your finger, really work past the oils in it because it has all organic natural oils that help hydrate and nourish the delicate eye area and it's non-communogenic, so you don't have to worry about that, but what you do is apply it all over the lid, and then you have a little bit of glow, and it doesn't have to be a lot of work. You can just use your finger. Gosh, for over 50s, I'm not used to using anything in a stick. <laughs> yeah. Do um, you think that this is gonna work for you? Sure, I'll Let's try give it a try. It. Yeah. Let's give it a shot. Okay. So look down into the mirror with okay. your head. This is what I call snobby face. Okay. And then start on your lid. Okay. And then go up to your crease and then pull it down to the lid again and pull it out towards the brow. Out towards the brow. Wow. Brow stop. Okay. Perfect. Okay. That's, That's it. it. That Take your finger so away. Simple. I know. That was so simple. <laughs> this is a completely sustainable package made of recyclable materials and um, a lot of the packaging that they use is biodegradable. So unlike those other products that are really gimmicky and they put them in the fun plastic stuff, you're using something that's sustainably minded and isn't going to add to the landfill. When I think of a tube, I think of a brick of a That color. we're going to take this color yes. and do like 80s yes. rocker stripes yes. on you. Like yes. we're going to be Pat Benatar and right. Kiss mixed together. Yes. Yeah, that's okay. that's not what's happening okay. here. I We're not that's, doing that's not how I you're going to go into yeah. your life today. Okay. <laughs> it's just the uh, stereotype of a stick makeup. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I totally get that. Well, the other thing you can apply it directly from the stick, and you can apply it with your finger. And so either way works. I personally like my fingers, and the reason is that I feel like I can really melt the product into the skin. It just gives the lightest bit of color to your cheek area, which is all you really want with five minute makeup because you don't have time to do full contour and 
Pat Benatar Kiss concert. Well, and you think with a stick that it would feel heavy, but it doesn't feel heavy after it's applied. There you go. Yeah. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. So then that way you can just be free to go about your day and know that you look a little pulled together and you have some color and that's it. Mm -hmm. Okay. See how it's not Pat Benatar cheeks? No, you've you're, you've converted me, Kristen. <laughs> you've converted me. It looks really good. Yeah. So now I want you to take this okay. and put it on your lips like you would do a lipstick. Okay, look at that. Can you believe the I color? I love that. And that's the same color. It's the same one. And that's why it's just so easy and it works really well on your face. It's a cheaper one. It's like a reversible purse. Yeah. <laughs> and I love that. that five minutes yes. and you're busy and you've got all the things to think about, you need this kind of yes. multi-use product. Yeah. I wonder if I could use it on my eyes. So oh, you totally it would, could. It would be three for one instead yeah. of two for one. You could. So there we go. I'm just going to put a little bit on there. You don't want to do too much because this one's got a little bit of a purpley color to it. Okay. And I don't want you to start looking like maybe you have an eye infection that you start putting too much red around the eye. But with your golden skin, a little bit of pink just looks so pretty and it has that delicate glow to it. Off camera, we just curled Bennett's eyelashes and you were saying to me that every day you curl your lashes. I do religiously. Yes. yes. It's very important. You've got to be curling your lashes every time you do mascara. Then you want to use your remaining 30 seconds of your five minute makeup to put mascara on. Very important. And this one is from Gia Minerals same brand that was your mineral powder foundation we just used and i'm really impressed by the ingredient profile of this it's organic hypoallergenic it lengthens it thickens it strengthens it does all the things you really want to wiggle from the bottom of the root of the lash and then work your way up that's going to give you the most natural and full effect in the quickest way possible I'm just adding a final bit of lip color. I just wanted to give it a little bit of a boost. So Pat Benatar aside, we love Pat Benatar, love the 80s, but take a look at how fresh and modern and glowing you are. Kristen, I love it. Good, good. I'm so glad. And I want to encourage you to kind of help with that stress level, put you in a positive state of mind to use this hint of lavender from Inkling Scents. It's 100% pure perfume and essential oils. It's really light. Yeah. yeah. So you can just dab that on anywhere, throw it in your bag, and then if you're having a stressful moment throughout the day, you know, the kids, the work, whatever, you just put it back on. <laughs> and it's mobile and it's easy to carry. Exactly, yeah. and like this beautiful package. Yes. So this is your five minute face, and I think it's really achievable, easy to do, didn't require a lot of effort and it just gets you polished and ready to go out the door in a snap, which is something I think you need, right? That's right. <laughs> I hope you like what you've learned here. If you have, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more beauty tutorials, and to find all the products that we use today, just click in the description below and you'll get a link to navigo.com with everything listed out.